So, like everyone else on Monday morning, I was just waiting patiently for the Valentine's Day update to drop and I was scrolling through some leaks and scrolling through some interesting tea that I found and it was actually really fun Monday morning. But when I stumbled across something, I knew I had to talk about it because it's clearly been a persisting issue in the community. So let's get started with today's video. I was just kind of relaxing and just scrolling through Twitter when I came up on someone talking about an issue. So basically, they really wanted me to make a video or just explain some of the problems that have been going on with Royal High YouTubers when they meet fans in game or their supporters in game and sometimes they take advantage of them and take some of their items. I think I've talked about this issue before in an older video, but I really wanted to talk about it again because I did some research and I found out what they were talking about is actually really true. So I know a lot of people are always excited excited to meet their fans or just to meet people in general and just to see people that support them in a game and it's really exciting. So most of these games that people play are actually trading games, whether it be Adopt Me or Royal High or just like Murder Mystery 2 where you can also trade weapons. So a lot of people are known for doing this where they join fans in game and they end up taking advantage of them where they actually take items that they know are under pay and they give items that are not worth the trade at all. This this has been an issue between Royal High YouTubers and they have talked about it and there are a variety of perspectives. A lot of people think it's okay to actually accept these things because no one is forcing anyone to give them anything, which is actually true. Unless you're a YouTuber who's actually persistently asking someone, please give this to me or try and guilt trip other people, a lot of people don't see the issue. However, many people still see the issue even though they didn't ask for any of these items and someone still offers them, it does not mean you get to to accept and the right to accept. So for example, if I did a trade, this is an example of a trade I just made up and I just took a picture of myself with. Um, if I give basically like a free cheap item, for example, just like a free item from the wheel and I trade it for a halo, that's basically a really unfair trade. But other people disagree and say, if you're on the other end and you're a fan, you should know that you shouldn't be giving people these big items unless you really, really want to. And they probably know it's an unfair trade and that's why so many people have issues with it. However, I started to have an issue when I saw multiple live streams and just videos of YouTubers just taking all these items. For example, some of the trades that have been happening seem intentional because a lot of the trades, it happen a surplus amount of times. And I'm going to be honest here, anyone can have their own opinion about the subject, whether they think it's fair to give YouTubers stuff. I try not to accept things when it gets too far. For example, if I know it's an overpay, I will never accept. But that's just personally me, and no one else has to follow that rule because someone else is offering the things. But I want to remind you guys, you do not need to prove to your favorite Royal High YouTuber that you support them by giving away most of your inventory. I'm not stopping anyone from doing this if they don't want to. I just saw some of these trades on my timeline this morning, and I was just drinking some tea, and I nearly choked. Because, like, some of the trades that were going on were, like, a parasol for maybe a spring accessory that happened like last year for example it could have been like a headband or something for a parasol and i saw a lot of that and i don't really know the context of it or what they plan to do with all those items that they do continuously because i've seen this a lot between a lot of different people but at the end of the day you need to be careful with your items and understand that others will not be afraid to accept as well so if you're just doing it as a kind gesture you better be warned now but you need to remember is this a fair trade because there's still people too and they play the game so they'll still have to work as hard as you to get the same items so don't let them have that privilege or power over you as some people claim. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and comment down below your opinions because this is actually a video I really want to see your opinions on because I want to see different perspectives of what you guys think because I've seen a lot of these issues actually happen so I really wanted to know what you guys think about this because a lot of people have been complaining about this youtuber not giving fair trades at all and they have been sending pictures of some of the most unfair trades they've done. For
for example, where they get a Teddy Zilla for just like normal accessories or they get a parasol for some like Halloween accessories. And I know this is an issue and a lot of you have been complaining about this YouTuber. I did not want to name drop them at all because I feel like it's going to cause more problems. If you have more problems with this YouTuber in particular or you want items back, just make sure to DM them respectfully because I know this can be a big issue. I also wanted to let you guys know that we do have a Discord server that was created by Connor and I love it so much. So you guys can join because we do game nights on there, Robux giveaways, and you guys get exclusive sneak peeks to the video where you get access to the videos ahead of time of other people. So you get to see it as an unlisted video and then it becomes public. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video. I love you guys and thank you so much for the support and 20k subscribers. I have something special coming soon and I love you guys endlessly. Bye guys! Here it goes a little something like...